Well, good morning. We're up at uh, Makahu Car Park here in the Car Wickers, and there's a there's an ancient old Viking proverb that you do not shoot deer from the couch. And a lot of you don't know this, but Vikings actually had big couches on their ships thousands of years ago, and uh, they really knew their stuff. And if, if they couldn't shoot them from the couch, then we can't either. So Gary and myself and the Panther. We're about to climb the main Kawika range up there and our mission today is to get to Backridge Hut and hunker down there for the night. Then we're going to wander down Backridge tomorrow, forecast for heavy heavy rain and snow, stay at the bivvy and then Sunday we might hopefully get another clear day like this and we're going to hunt our way down Backridge to Kiwi Mouth stay there Sunday night and Monday Chris from East Carwicker is going to hopefully pop in, pick us up and bring us back to here. So little adventure, good getaway for uh, three or four days. Zero expectations on seeing any deer but hey you never know, you've got to be out there. Don't get them on the couch. Made Domini Bivy, we're just um, rehydrating, filling up with the water from the tank, it's nice and clean. Perla of a morning. Going well, mate? Going well, going extremely well, thank you. Awesome. Perfect day for it. Wasn't too big a hill, eh? No, no not at all. No. Alright, no. let's get up the next one. There you go guys, there's our first seeker of the trip. I believe he was just a young, young spiker actually. And he's way down here in this, in this little gut down here. 370 odd yards away. Well within our range, but bloody Gary didn't want to go down and recover him. I mean, you know, we climbed this hill, there's a seeker deer in the car wickers, and uh, nah. If he's on the other side down the back ridge, he's going to die, but not not here. As long as Gary doesn't have to haul it up a hill. That's right, and, yeah. and that's a fair old hill, that one. Yeah. So he poked his nose out. Um, I saw a, a bush down there that looked like a shadow, and it was moving, and I'm like, ooh, we better look at that. And sure enough, it was a bloody deer, so... Interesting, he didn't hang around out, out in the open too long. He was probably only out there a couple of minutes, and now he's gone back to the safety of the beach, so. Very cool. It's made my morning. Well, you got a shot of those roots down the bottom? Then. Yeah, I do. Been a bit chilly uh, camping out up here last night. Serious frost. Amazing morning. These uh, these tussocks and heebies look like bloody frosted dreadlocks. I half expect to see um, Bob Marley come over the horizon.
best. Look at that. Better than your freezer at home. Much better. Right, back ridge here we come. yet. There's got to be a hungry stag around here somewhere after the run. Wants to poke out and get some morsels hopefully. Anyway, carry on down the ridge and keep looking. It's just on, uh, just after one o'clock. minutes down to the hut and nice warm fire. Looking forward to that and a hot brew. And right, home sweet home. That Ridge hut. This is looking pretty good. That would have to be bullshit. Oh my god. Canadian club. Unbelievable. God loves us. What is that? Six cans of Canadian club. <laughs> hey, how good is that? I'll let you have one, I'll have five. You go for it. Awesome, what is, man. What is actually Canadian Club? Is it a beer? Um, no, I think it's a, like a bourbon or something. All oh, right. I'll have to have a look, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. But it's got to be alcohol. Woohoo! Well, that's a big climb down there. It's pretty good, though. Good to be here. Good to be here. Again, another Lincarno hut. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we'll have a look at the uh, history of this one in a minute. Well, so far, net service have got it right. It's a um, waggy old day. They said it would probably start raining this morning, get heavier by lunchtime, and be bucketing by tonight. So, it's in between rain and snow, so we'll see what we get. Uh, it's good to be here. Mm. Breakfast time, Backridge Hut. Right, Backridge Viv, here we come. It's a rainy old bleak day. Pretty cool. Please, we're not coming over the tops today though. We wouldn't have seen Diddley.
So an hour from here. Yeah. How long up to the J? What are they saying? Really? Oh yeah, 30. Oh yeah, it's a bit better. Probably take us too. <laughs> She's seriously average out here today. It'll be good to get back into the bush actually now to this wind. So we've only got another 100 or 200 yards to go and we're there. You're good, mate? All good. Yep. Awesome. Just will not have wings, otherwise it wouldn't be here. Yeah. Turning into a classic old wet Kawika day today. But it's all good, it's what's forecast, so. And in theory, it's only meant to get worse through to tonight. And fingers crossed, the big ball of flame's gonna be out tomorrow. And so will those seeker stags that have gotta be hungry now after the rut and wanting to feed up. And we can find one. All right, two minutes down to the bivy. Stop raining for now, which is really good. All right, troops have made backridge biv. Guys, we're here, we've got the Red Steel barbecue going. Gary's put up a makeshift shelter so we can actually keep out of the rain. It's slightly dry. Bivy's nice and warm. Dogs in the biv. That's where dogs belong. It's a dog box. And uh, as a special treat for lunch, we're gonna fire up some uh, cheese kranskis. Yum. I think we deserve it. And let the storm pass. Right. Which it is going to. It is, isn't it? It definitely is. Positive. Positive. <laughs> well, it's about four o'clock, Saturday afternoon. Been bucketing down all afternoon, actually. So we're um, just hold up tight in the biv, reading books, having snoozes. And uh, as I said before, hoping that the sun will come out tomorrow and we'll have some good hunting. Roger. Over and out. Well, it's Sunday morning here at Backridge Bivy. Um, the good news is the rain's gone. Bit of clag around, but it's as still as still. We just need that uh, big fireball to get up and burn this bloody clag off. She could be a cracker of a day by the looks of it, so. Feeling positive. We'll pack up camp. We've had a couple of coffees. And uh, we'll quietly poke our way down Backridge and uh, all going well we'll be at Kiwi Mouth with a nice roaring fire tonight life is good so guys here at um, Backridge Bivy amazing dock initiative they've put in a good number of these good nature traps I think that's their name they're good natures and they are designed to kill the local possum population and the reason Doc have done this is we have an amazing native snail population in the catchment here around the bivy so to give them a chance it's a good thing to wipe out the possum so took a bit of finding but I found this one it's still working it's obviously killed a couple of resident possums so that's bloody awesome 
well done doc that's bloody cool and uh, that should give the, the old pop snail population a fighting chance in the coming coming years if as a hunter or tramper you're coming in here and you'd like to be part of this and you'd like to bring in some little gas bottles and some lure to reset these um, get in contact with me or Kelly Eaton at the Napier Dock Office and she'll provide the stuff to keep these going because it's a really good initiative. So give me a shout if you want to know any more about this. That'll be cool. Right, it's time we probably got back on track. Grab our packs and go and see if we can find a deer. Right, we're convinced there's uh, blue sky starting to break through. So it's time to go and have a look at some clearings and slips. Surely, if you were a bloody seeker deer and you'd been in that wet bush all night, you'd want to come out and dry out. We'll go and find out. Well guys, the sun's out on the mats this morning. We're just waiting for our turn. It's a bloody cold wind. Bloody sun won't poke out, and neither are the deer yet, so we're going to carry on down the ridge, check out some small spots, and glass lower and lower down into the scrub. We've got to be here somewhere, Gary. Right. Well, guys, the clock's ticking. The sun's trying really hard at times to break through, but still nothing. We're really trying look into these scrub faces. That's where I'd want to be if I was a seeker. Not down in the wet dripping bush but in a, in a nice scrubby sun filled warm gut. So we'll just keep looking, hoping. this is what it's all about being up here in the car we get recharging the batteries fantastic few days away weather hasn't quite played the game as I'd hoped but it was a bit of a, a long shot to be here with the forecast so there's our hunt down there on that little grassy clearing just to the left of the river if you can see that so our way down that ridge there and then drop down. I haven't done this section of the track before so this is something new which is quite cool but man these are lovely warm guts down in here. It's where the deer will be and probably safe. What do you reckon? Stunning country? Stunning country. It's awesome eh? Absolutely amazing. With oh. every footstep isn't it? Yeah. Not that far to go now either. Might be a few showers coming down the head of the valley there. Right. As I say, it's the first time I've done this section of the track and it's, it's actually a really bloody good track. Some nice little benches up there. A few pads here and there, so must be a few um, Manuka stags down here somewhere.
through, coming down through all this stuff, there'll be secure living down here. A few old prints up on the clay pans, but that heavy rain yesterday's washed any fresh sign away. Anyway, only five minutes off the hut now. Good work. A bit chilly though. Just a bit chilly. Yeah. Oh. Well, let's go and find a hut. Yeah. Cool. So this is the world famous Kiwi Creek, by the way. Right. And she's got a pretty good flow on at the moment. Pretty good looking creek, that's for sure. Yeah. It's got a good on oh, the past I've seen some quite nice pairs of native blue duck up it. Oh yeah. So it's quite good to see. Anyway, let's get find this hut. Oh, what a beautiful thing. Kiwi mouth. Glorious. Nice tidy hut. That's what we like. Yes. How many caves, Gary, from the truck? The trip. We have done 18.26, so basically eight caves today. Awesome. Yeah. Good work. Well, it's Monday morning here at Kiwi Mouth. Massive frost outside, bitterly, bitterly cold. We haven't bothered to put our wet boots on this morning and go for a hunt. Um, I don't know much about the hunting around Kiwi Mouth, to be fair, but it's just too bloody cold. I don't believe there'll be deer down on this frosty level. They'll be up higher in the, in the Manuka where they can get some sun. And I'd made a promise to Chris that we'd be ready by 10 o'clock to, to go. He's, I think, doing a, a lift into Otudu, and he said he'd probably be at 1, but he said, yeah, if you can be ready by 10, that'd be really cool. So we've been sitting around, swapping yarns around the fire, drinking coffee, and uh, just enjoying the day, really. So we're, we're almost packed up. It's nearly 10. Might wander down to the river and just have a nosy, see what's happening. Otherwise, we're ready to go home. Been a really, really cool couple of days in the hills, exploring, bit of adventure, recharge the batteries, ready to go back and, and get into some, some work. It's all good. Right, we'll go and check out the mighty flow of the river. See what's happening down here. Well, I bet Paul and Campbell Thompson would love to be here with their fishing rods right now. Man, it's just beautiful. So here's the main river, guys, and this is Kiwi Creek way down. Should be a great day to go rafting but bloody hell would it be cold. Good flow in the river. One day. Alright, back to the hut for another coffee.
if you shoot some venison on your next hunting trip and you want to get some quality small goods made by your local butcher anywhere in New Zealand, do this for him and this will make his day. Get it to him fresh. One day old, two days old, fantastic. If you can't, freeze it down. But don't present it to him and proudly say, this has been hanging for 12 days. He's going to look at you and go, oh man, come on guys, I need fresh trim to make a quality sausage. Or a salami, or a patty, it's all the same. Do not hang your trim for too long. Put it in the freezer and you'll, you'll leave your butcher with a big happy smile on his face. in the bank with East Carwick helicopters if you need to fly into the car because you've got to use those guys because they're the best in the business all right let's go doggo well here we go Monday afternoon we're back where we started we are and look yeah, the trucks trucks still got wheels <laughs> windscreen it's got everything dogs ready <laughs> dogs. awesome trip man awesome really trip. really Thank good you.